what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? If there are some kids in this house, I need you to get them out. Listen to me, family. Listen to me good. I need you to get the kids out of the room because this is grown folks conversation. I finally got a chance to listen to Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B's song WAP, which stands for Wet A-S-S P-U You get it? Let me just say that the song is so nasty. I had to turn on some porn when my grandmother walked in. This song is explicit, but it's jamming like a fool. Oh no, fam, look, I'm gonna tell you something straight up. Look, I can appreciate a jamming song. Song jamming. Somebody said it was trash. Oh, no, that song, you know, that, that's why it's good to listen to stuff yourself, right? And I think that if you're the type of person that don't like explicit rap, then everything is trash. So it doesn't matter what song a person makes, you're going to say it's trash. But if you can appreciate a dope song, if you can get past cuss words, song is jamming. Period. Point blank, period. Now, as one who has made a few, I guess, uh, provocative songs in my day, I can appreciate the artistry of it. I can appreciate where they were going with it. The song had all of the elements that it takes to make it a classic. That song is going to be a classic because let's face it, there have been many women who have claimed to have a WAP, right? To have WAP, right? There's been a number of women who have claimed to have that. And there's been a number of men to claim that certain women have WAP, right? So this is grown folks conversation. They didn't say anything that we haven't either said ourselves before or heard before. That's why I told y'all to get the kids out of the room early because this is grown folks conversation. Now, Cardi B, I now realize why she said that her music was not for kids. Well, I realized that at first, but I really realize it now. <laughs> this ain't for kids. This is grown folks' music. And did I say it's jamming like a fool? Oh, man. I was, listening to the song was like, for me, as an artist, as somebody who can appreciate a good fight, it was like watching two heavyweight contenders exchange blows. Not even heavyweight contenders, just two contenders, like two top-notch contenders going at it, trading blow for blow for blow for blow. I can't even say which one of them was jamming the hardest. I can't give the edge to either artist. Both of them held their own very well. I, To this date, I have not heard anybody blow out Cardi B, and I haven't heard anybody blow out Megan Thee Stallion on a song. These two are very consistent. Very much like Nicki Minaj. She's very consistent. No matter what you think of her, no matter what you think of Megan, no matter what you think of Cardi B, man, them girls be jamming, man. They got it. They, they, they got some killer lyrics. They put all of the things that needed to be put in a song talking about having that. Man, man I, I ain't going to talk it up too much, fam. 
But I will say this. After listening to that song, I realized another thing. That song needs a condom. No more talk. What the haters talking about?